citizens of the free world. I am of a man God, defender of justice, defender of the people, defender of the earth. Today in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a 60-year-old white male who is a registered sex offender named David Allen Dean has been arrested for urinating on a five-year-old black child in the alley and called this child the N-word. This 60-year-old man, 6 to a night, 170 pounds, faced down upon a five-year-old child, targeted her because of the color of her skin, violated her in every way, without hesitation. and while doing so, urinated upon her, and on top of that, used terroristic words calling her the N-word on top of it, to a five-year-old child. Did you hear what I just told you? I don't know what will it take racial climate in this country, the injustice made against those who are vulnerable, those who are considered dark-skinned, those who are considered not pleasant nor right in the eyes of some are in danger. And the ones out of all of these groups who have been more endangered is yet being targeted and killed day by day it seems as if and no justice is being done but i submit to you grand rapids michigan that you better do what is right against this suspect who committed this evil wicked deed and that charges will be added upon this man and that he will never again walk in the footprints of freedom and society ever again. And I wonder why. Why has this suspect, David Allen Dean's name, has not even been released to the public? I also wonder what kind of charges will be made against this suspect who committed this act. And then on top of that, does David Allen Dean's medical condition a threat to this child? I can only pray that he has nothing that he could have exposed this five-year-old to by urinating upon her. Parents, mothers, fathers, you, guardians of children, I mentioned over a year ago that it is imperative you protect and be careful and watchful over your children. Every community, whether vulnerable or present, the weak, the innocent, the climate is so at an all-time high that protective measures need to be in place for every home against the injustice and evils that has existed and existing now more than ever before in this country in the 21st century.
I can only hope and I pray that this five-year-old child will never have to grow up remembering what was committed against her at this day and time. Let us, a moment of silence, pray for this five-year-old and her family. You may begin now. Amen. Over out.